Hello guys, what I'm going to do is show you how to use Terminal to check your R128 audio, which is a nice little thing. So open up Terminal and check if you've got FFmpeg installed, which would be install, oh sorry, brew, install FFmpeg. And this will return back and say mine's already installed. Um, if you need to install it, you can do um, that brew install FFmpeg and that will come back and start installing FFmpeg for you. So, what we'll do is we use my code through here. It was not my code, I'm using it from someone else. Hold Alt and jump back to where it says File. And then all you need to do, this is my file that I want to test. I throw him in, hit Return, and that will go through and check out the momentary and the true peak on this guy. I'm looking for minus 23, so this is completely out and not too crash hot, so I need to change this. So open up your calculator, go, 26.2 minus 23.0. So 26 is too quiet. I need to bring it up 3.2 dB. So what I need to do there is grab this second piece of code, copy that, paste it into here, take out where the file out's going to be, and I know for a fact it's going to go to this out folder, um, go back one space, forward space, and call it out.mxf. Hold Alt and cruise back to where it says the dB. I need to make sure the volume is equal to 3.2 and then come through here and chuck in my original file, which is this guy right here, and hit return. It's going to moan about um, that and it's gone and told me that it's got it and it's fixed it. Let me just double check that. There it is. It's in the out folder. So all I need to do now is go back to my original code and just check, take out all this here, and now check the, the corrected one, which is this guy. Put him in there, like that, and this will check it. And voila, minus 23. So it's brought down the true peak as well, so it's basically done an overall um, uh, conversion of the level of the file. In no way is this the way to mix R128. Um, all this is is to give you a nice, quick and dirty end of the day fix to get your files out. And it's a really quick and easy and also free way of checking it. Anyway, hope this helped guys. I'll put these codes in the bottom of the YouTube link and uh, any props, give me a yell.